<laughs> okay, hello, my name is Claudio. Talk about what we are experimenting with uh, inside the Linux.org community network uh, for what concerns the cloud, that is virtual machines fundamentally. So uh, let's talk about what is Linux.org, that is a group of community networks in Italy. There are several islands all over the country from south to north. And this is more or less the map of Italy, the map of Rome. Some people at the last uh, event that we had all together that was called the Linux Day. So uh, I'm, I'm involved in the Linux Rome network. And we have more or less uh, this topology. That is, we have an OSR network. We have which some gateways. Some of the gateways are BGP routers, and some of the gateways are DSL lines. The BGP routers are also capable of speaking uh, OLSR version one. So we have IPv4 and IPv6 public addresses, and that's all. So inside this network, we have always run internal services. So we have uh, file sharing, gaming, voice over IP, and whatever. Uh, for what concerns external servers, that is, uh, services, that is uh, services that we want to be rich externally, like the wiki, the map server, the mail server, that are instruments that we need to bootstrap the community network. That is, you need these ones to get inside the network. We are uh, hosting them on external providers. So uh, we are hosting our services at external providers that are not uh, in the Linux network. But we have our own infrastructure and our, our own IP addresses, our own public addresses, so it makes sense to host it by, by ourselves, okay? Uh, especially in the post-Snowden era, some people might say, but I don't know, okay. So we, have, uh, we would like to build a Linux cloud infrastructure. So we would like this uh, infrastructure to have uh, services. We would like our services to be uh, as available as possible. Uh, we would like the infrastructure to be distributed as much as possible. We would like uh, uh, the infrastructure to be lightweight, that is to run on low-cost hardware. We don't, we don't want to spend a lot of money on the uh, infrastructure. And we want, of course, APIs. Otherwise, we are not talking about cloud, in my opinion. Okay. So uh, we have some experiments in progress. During the Confine project, we got some uh, nice uh, boxes, like uh, some uh, Intel uh, NUCs. So uh, this uh, community, uh, this Confine community lab uh, co boxes are able to instantiate uh, LXC containers, thanks also to the work of some people here. <laughs> and uh, uh, the the system of community lab is meant to give access to external researchers to community networks. But we can also use it to deploy our own services. The thing is that the community lab has IPv4 support only and is currently unmaintained because the confined project is over. So we are searching for other ways to build this cloud. Like for example, we are deploying Proxmox along with uh, community lab uh, boxes. Uh, we are experimenting with Cloudy, that is a distribution for community clouds. And uh, we have also simple virtual machines deployed all over the network by volunteers that just uh, power them up and give access to other community members. So uh, we are facing some challenges. That is, having a high availability is not a simple task. Uh, we might replicate the services we might migrate the services on the fly when something bad happens, but it's not uh, easy to do it. And uh, one uh, big challenge is how to transport IPv4 public addresses to the virtual machines that we have all over the network. Uh, we're using currently Tink, that is a VPN, and Xeri tunnels to transport IPv4 addresses. We are using uh, SourceNet and DestinationNet 
to um, dynamically assign addresses to the virtual machines. And we have a bunch of scripts that uh, semi-automate these uh, processes. But it's just uh, really a bunch of uh, scripts uh, with no real documentation. It's really a crappy thing that we hope to publish someday in a nice way. But uh, we're really, it's really a work in progress. That's why this is a lightning talk. So uh, we're using, if we can look at what we're using as three types of IP addresses. We have IPv4 public addresses that we are uh, transporting over the network grid tunnels. We have IPv4 community public addresses that would be, this community public thing is uh, private IP addresses that are routable inside the community network. So from the internet point of view, this is a private address. From the community network point of view, this is a, a public address. I think this terminology was uh, born uh, in uh, Gigi. And we have also uh, community private addresses, which are not rooted at all. Okay. So, uh, I wanted to show you how we are transporting IPv4 public addresses for some hosts in our networks. So we have a host inside the network, we have the BGP routers, we have the OLSR cloud, and we have DSL lines. So we would like to take uh, IPv4 addresses from the BGP routers and give them to our host. So what we are doing is announcing as an HNA the IPv4 address of the host, I, I mean the public IPv4 address that we want to assign to the host. So incoming traffic is just routed inside the OLSR network to our destination. For what concerns outgoing traffic, uh, we have some problems because we have these DSL lines that, uh, um, I mean, DSL lines, if they see a packet that has a, a source address, an address that they didn't assign to the line, they won't let it through. So uh, we have to use tunnels. But we're using GRE tunnels, which are very lightweight. And the way we're using it is uh, really nice. That is, we are announcing with an Anycast IPv4 slash 32 address the endpoint of the tunnel so that uh, if the routing changes dynamically, the, the outgoing packets would go to the nearest BGP router. Okay? So we're announcing the same address uh, on both BGP gateways, and uh, the OLSR routing would choose the nearest to, for that going traffic. And so we have some open issues. That is the mutual trust that must be established between the guy that puts the virtual machine, the, I mean, the, um, the host, and the guest. Okay? So I'm using somebody else's computer, and somebody else is using my computer. Uh, why not think about a kind of peer-copying agreement, but for virtual machines? That is, when I want to uh, use somebody else's computers, somebody else's computer, I somehow accept a license, like the peer-copying agreement for community networks. And also, uh, one open issue is uh, having a distributed API. I, I mean, not having a centralized controller. And also here, there is a trust issue and so perhaps we can rely on the web of trust and use PGP keys for accessing APIs of other people in a trusted way. And so that's all. Thank you very much.